Michael. Can you hear me all right, Michael? Testing, testing. One, two, three. Audio coming through all right. Audio coming through all right. Cool. All right, cool. Levi, hello. Welcome. All right, so we did something like this. Um, we did something like this, I don't know, a few weeks back where we had some people on panel. But it was kind of a last minute thing um, where I kind of just went live spur of the moment and put the put the link in the Copa um, for anybody to come on. And I, since then, I said in that video, you know, I kind of wanted to do something maybe once a month or something like that to where we had just an open panel. And it's going to take some time to catch on because I, I haven't done a scheduled, like, you know, live stream weekly at the same time every day. It'll take some time to catch on. Like back when I only had a thousand subscribers, I used to do a show uh, once a week. I forget what day it was on. I think it was Sunday. I used to do a show. I had a co-host named Steve. This was back before I got into high end, really. I just, I was into the mainstream high end stuff like Vicious Ant and, you know, the Jay Hayes products and just stuff like that. Um, this was before I was really involved with the high end community. We used to do a live show once a week on the channel. And over the course of a year, I think we did it every Sunday. And towards the end, our viewership was getting pretty good. Um, I think we were getting to like 70 ish live viewers. And at the time, my channel probably only had a thousand subscribers. But the consistency of, you know, doing that live show every week at the same time, at the same day, you know, everyone knew when that show was going to be. So, um, you know, it, we built a small viewership. So when I go live on this channel, because it's always like spur of the moment live streams, um, I never get too many viewers, even though my channel is much bigger today than it was back then. Um, and it's usually because it's always at random times, you know, random times of the day, random days. I don't have a, you know, a scheduled weekly show anymore like, like I used to do on the channel back when the channel was smaller. So I've been really wanting to... All live streams have gone to members only on the channel. Willow. What's going on, Willow? I hope you're doing well, buddy. All live streams have gone to private, um, meaning all you know, new products that come in, unboxings, uh, first builds, first impressions, they've gone private to members only, and that's caught on a good amount, and I'm really happy with where that is at uh, so early on, and I feel like we got a good group of guys doing that, but I really want to start some type of, you know, community show, whether it be, you know, right now I'm thinking we'll do it every other week. If it starts to catch on a lot, then maybe we'll move it to weekly. I'm not set on, you know, Wednesdays as of yet. It's just for this week. Um, I had time tonight to do it. So that's the time this week we, uh, we are doing it, but I'm not dead set on what the set day is going to be as of yet. Maybe we'll move it to the weekends. The weekends will probably be a better day. Weekend evenings, those will probably be a better day for me and probably for everybody else as well for us to move it to. But we're not really set on, I'm not really set on when we're going to do it yet. Now, a couple of things is we're going to get into, you know, just chatting here in a second, but I want to lay a couple of things out. Um, we definitely need a good core group of panel members, meaning we, we need a good one to two guys, maybe even three guys that want to be on the panel for almost every show. Uh, they're in the high end community because at the end of the day, that's what this podcast type deal is going to be aimed at is the high end community. So members of the high end community, uh, that want to be on the show almost every week. Um, Right now, the link is in the Copa. Oh, shit. We have someone right here. One second. Let me add. Try to here. There he is. Kaz. Yeah, Hang on one second. I, I just got to adjust this so there's no echo. 
Let's see here. All right. Can you hear me? Yep. All right. What's going on, man? Yeah, I'm down to be on the panel. All right. Fucking awesome. Uh, how long were you back there for? I'm sorry. I just saw you. Oh, uh, I don't know. 10 minutes. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. So, yeah. So then if, you, if you're down to be on, um, I'm not sure what day, like... I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, I mean, I work from home, so it's pretty much open season for me. That's why I'm kind of like offering to be a part of it because I'm always home. Okay. So it's nothing for me to like go into a room where it's quiet or even while I'm like packing orders because my my office is basically in my office. So I have, you know, privacy or whatever, and it's, it's quiet. So where, you know. We could have like conversations and stuff. I only suggested it because I'm kind of like you in a sense where I buy a lot of the stuff that is out pretty much. You know, I buy it to try it. If I end up not liking it, it ends up going on my waffle page. But, you know, I always buy it to try it. Yeah, um, that's how I am. Like, I feel like a lot of the stuff I get it. Unless it's sent for review, um, I usually don't sell it. Um, I usually will give it away if I don't want to keep it. But if it's stuff I buy, I would say almost 70% of the stuff I buy ends up getting sold because I'm pretty picky. Yeah, like right now I'm trying out the new stuff from Mission. Their new Space Pods and their new uh, version of the KV-2 and stuff. I'm trying that out. So what's the deal with the bridge? Is that is that Are you able to use that in the dock? platform too yeah as long as you have as long as you have the the accessories i think it's the only i think it's the only the original kb2 i haven't tried the evo in the dot because i don't have the dot pieces anymore okay. i had the dot pieces in the beginning but then i just got rid of it because i wasn't really i didn't have a dot to use it in back then but now i have a dot gotcha because i used the i used the sturdy and dot form so do you notice any difference on the sturdy, whether it's in a Bora or in a dot? No. Yeah, it's the same shit, right? Same thing. Yeah. Um, same thing. Only difference is obviously in a burrow you get like massive juice capacity. Yeah, yeah. I need to I need to dial in my syringes. I've been being lazy. I need to test them on a few different things to figure out if it's accurate. Um, Dakota Dakota said you just need an adapter set for the Evo. Yeah, you need the adapter set. Yeah, I don't I don't have that. Uh Sharon, welcome to the welcome to the stream. Said hi to Michael, everybody. Yeah, so anybody that's here, if you want to come up on the panel, if you go to the Copa and go to the comments of the post I made, you'll see the link to get in here right in the comments if you want to join the panel. Like right now, right now I'm using the Astro with the Midge. Been going that, pretty good. That's a hot setup. I saw that picture the other day. Yeah, the Astro with the mid right now. How um is that your first Astro or no? No. Is that your first 3D print Astro? No. So I I haven't had an Astro since I did the review. It was probably a year ago now, and it was the original aluminum one. Yeah, I had I had the day one aluminum one too. And what what do you like more between the two? The I like the PA twelve. The PA twelve is lighter. Um, it just feels better in the hand. Like the aluminum, the aluminum's cool, but the aluminum's a little bit too heavy. The aluminum's a little bit too heavy. Like if you, if you nick the aluminum, you could tell right away that it's nicked. So it's like, and I have like massive OCD. So no, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Um, overall, what do you like more between, between, PA twelve or aluminum. The weight. The weight. The weight. That's yeah. what makes you. Yeah, it's just it's it's just the weight. I mean, I mean, you know, it's it's all about the weight for me. Like like for example, like I have. Um, what else do I use? I use like uh, like a regular rotation. I use the thirty eight. And I like it because of the weight, you know? 
it's all weight for me. Like batteries, batteries, I really don't mind. It could be eighteen six fifty or twenty one seven hundred. It really doesn't matter. Uh, Jay, what's up? Welcome to the stream. I think uh, is your microphone near your speaker for audio? Uh, I'm on my phone. I think we're getting a little bit of an echo. All right. Um, are you using an external microphone? No. Hmm. I think You're it's better now. Only your phone. How about now? Let's see. Um, yeah, it's a little. It's much better now. Yeah, that's better. Why am I not recognizing you? What What's your name? Jay. What's your name on on Facebook? If you don't want to say, it, you don't have to say it. Uh yeah, yeah, Jay Anzwaga. Oh my God, what is up? Nothing much. It's I've never seen you on video. What are you there's, using? There, there's a lot of people on Facebook that we don't see on video. I know you're right. You're right. So what are you guys using right now? Right now I got the GT3. Sitting on uh, what was it, the one gin? That's a small mod. Kaz, what do you got going? Right now, I have the PA12 Astro with the with the titanium midge. I have the uh, the Tech Division Endurance with the Avant, and then I have the D60 Doro with the. Uh, with uh, the new uh, Mission Evo. So I saw that you had got your Avant. Are you starting to use RTAs more or more Boros still? Yo, for the last three weeks, I, I just, I just like rewicked all my burrows like yesterday. Okay. So for like the past, it? since I got the Avant, I've had the Avant for like three weeks. It's the only thing I was rocking. Yeah. Just to give it, I wanted to give it a fair shot, so I didn't want to like rewig none of my burrows because those are my my fall safes because I already know I'm going to get the flavor that I'm looking for and whatever. So and the nick and the, the the nick fixation. So I just was just like, let me give this Avant a fair try. And I gotta say, the Avant and because my my favorite RTA before this was the GT4. It blows the GT4 out of the water. Yeah, I'm I'm happy to hear that. Jay, you've been using you've been using more tanks lately over borrow ships? Yeah, like two, three weeks. Slowly, like, you know, with the Innova and then every day. And I'm like, hey, you know what? Let me I'm looking at my my stand. I'm like, let me let me bust this out and see what's up. I didn't like it last time. Or I really wasn't feeling it and then, you know, try everything out again. So when's the last time you used a borrow? I mean, I have one ready to go, but I don't know. I would say a good, a solid week since I really picked it up. Gotcha. So I've been struggling to use my Boro mods as of lately. Um, I mean, yeah, I with just them did straight them balances you got, huh? With them straight on balances you got. Well, it's yeah, the, it's the balance, but also yeah, where like, they at? where they at? Where they at? So I am, uh, I'm rewicking the Innova right now for this balance. And then I'm actually using the Unifico instead of my 21700 balance right now. Um, and then I got the control bridge and the bootlegger. I'm actually getting really excited because I have the my unknown bull rat collab. I sent it in for a body swap because I, I dropped it. Um, and, but it's been a few months now, so that should be coming back soon. And it was the triple splash, uh, black, gray, and red color. But now it's going to be the black, gray, and that new OD green color. But I've been struggling to, to use Boros lately just because usually when I start to get into one atomizer that I really love, I just end up using it nonstop for like six months straight. I, I have a hard time with variety. Um, 
so that's kind of why I bought the Asylum RTA because I wanted another RTA that I could depend on because I have the two Innovas and I've just been using the Innovas nonstop. So I wanted some variety with RTAs. Um, and that's why I got the Asylum, but you know, that, that bullshit happened. But I have a Steam Tuner's Edge on the way. And I'm pretty excited for that because I, I never tried it when it came out. I was too into Boros when that came out. So I've never heard a bad thing about that RTA. Have you, either of you had that one? Yeah, I didn't like it. You didn't like that? No. I never tried it. It was, too, it, was too, it was too finicky for me. Like, you had to do too much stuff to get it built. And I didn't really, me personally, I just didn't understand the juice flow control and the airflow control. Like, it was so weird. I got you. It was so weird for me. Like I'm very, I'm very simplistic. I'm very just like, like plug and play. If it's, if it has to do with a lot of finger banging to get like things to work, yeah, nah, it's, it's really like not for me. I got you. I understand that. So yeah, I went back yesterday, right after I bought it, and watched a couple of videos, and I really think I'm gonna love the thing. Um, I am gonna do a review on it just because why not it's like two years old but i figure why not there wasn't too much attention on it when it came out because boros were so popular at the time uh jay by any chance do you have a pair of headphones uh uh yeah i'm sorry to be a pain in the ass i just uh just tell me you don't think, want me in here. I'll go. <laughs> I think that's the only thing that's going to alleviate the problem. How about now? Oh, yeah. So You're much better. Now. All right. Yeah. Yeah, there's no feedback whatsoever. I had the game on in the background, too. That's probably what it was. No, I think I think it was our audio coming out and then going back into your mic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So, any new shit? that either of you have seen that that you're interested in grabbing in the next couple weeks i was gonna grab that that <laughs> micro that you got from control what makes you uh like the look of it you want me to be honest <laughs> yeah be honest <laughs> it, remind, it reminds me of the midge okay the midge. <laughs> yeah so before i put my video out on it I made a few posts and like that's pretty much what every comment said on my post like oh so it's just a midge it's just a midge and yeah it definitely has its similarities um it's a midge with a kirch deck yeah basically but you know it, it's not like like uh kill it customs they came out with the the what was it the kill ab r or the the kill it r that that thing was more was basically more of a midge than uh than this was and uh, like people didn't really give that hard that too much of a hard time um i mean i understand people i understand people's opinion but you know it's like we're at a certain point where it's hard you can't recreate the wheel and make it better. No, you already. can't re you can't you can't reinvent the wheel. Not not in this industry. Not in twenty twenty four. It's 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 very difficult. Yeah, I agree. So now, I'm not speaking from, you know, I'm not saying that this is what like Ross told me or anything. I'm just saying like for example, if Ross was upset, I could understand why he'd be upset. Um, you know, but at the same time they kind of all at this point have borrowed ideas from each other i'm not saying that you know ross borrowed ideas but you know all products have you can look at any product and say like this has a little bit of this in it and this has a little bit of this in it um so i mean the fact that the rba is pretty freaking small i don't know if there's a smaller rba out there the sturdy you think this no, so the sturdy, the sturdy small. Um, where's my sturdy? The 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 one from the one from Sway is actually smaller than the sturdy. Yeah, bro. Oh my Hang god. On. Let me let me pull it. 
So they're both in Boros, so it's hard to tell, but I'll put the nah, two if, Boros. If, if you hold it up, I could tell. Oh, hell yeah. It's definitely smaller. So mm -hmm. let me get them at the same height. So yeah. maybe the control is like a millimeter taller, but yeah. width-wise, the control is... Dude, the control is so small, it doesn't matter which direction you put it in. It'll fit in the Boro. Like, so now let me let me ask you this. Can you put a three millimeter coil in there with no problem? So I didn't even try it because in my opinion, a 2.5 millimeter coil is like pretty tight in there. Like I'm not saying like it's too tight. Like it's pretty perfect with a 2.5. But I didn't even try a three millimeter because, you know, you have to pay attention to what you're doing with a 2.5. Like if you go a little too high, it's going to touch. Or if you're going you go too low, you're going to be on the deck. So I didn't even try the three, but I did talk to Sway after my video and he did send me a picture that he was using a, a, a three millimeter in it. So uh, it can be done, um, but I think it's just kind of overkill because it's already so condensed. You know what I mean? So it's like, I mean, me personally, all I rock is 2.5s, but there's always the people that only rock three millimeter coils. I, yeah. So before I got into the Boro shit, I, I didn't understand why anyone would use a 2.5 coil and I, none of my coils were 2.5. And, um, but when I got into the Boro shit and the more high end tanks, the 22 millimeter RTAs back in like 2019, that's when I was like, okay, maybe I should get some 2.5 millimeter coils. And basically I haven't really now when I order coils, I order like 90% 2.5s and like 10% 3 millimeters. Um, because there's not a lot of atomizers out there today that you have to run a 3 in it. You know what I mean? Like it's going to run good with a with a 2.5. Um, I guess I'm not expl explaining that clearly. So you can use a 2.5 in pretty much everything. It's harder to run a 3 in pretty much everything. Yeah, cause cause with the with the threes you gotta you you gotta finger bang them to get them to fit and not touch. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, you could take your coil jig and pull the coil down to a two point five, but usually they don't. The wrap isn't as perfect as it would be from the from the coil maker. Um, Levi said two point five is king. Uh, Dakota said, oh, Dakota's running a three millimeter in the control bridge right now. That's what I'm saying. Certain, certain people just, just have a infatuation with threes. Listen, I tried, I tried the threes, but for me, three millimeter coils, depending on the RBA, it's just too hot. Like, and I come, I, and I come from the realm, bro, where I used to vape, you know, like those boxer mods, Back in 2014 at 150, 175 watts. I can't vape that high anymore. I vape at like 30 watts. <laughs> ever so, since ever since I got introduced to Burroughs, all I could do, Burroughs and RTAs, I, like uh, these newer high-end RTAs, I don't go higher than 35 watts. Yeah, neither do I. Um, so, yeah, I used to be like you. Not, not back in 2014 because I didn't start vaping until like – probably the end of 2017 but when i probably the first two years i vaped from towards the end of 2017 to the beginning of 2019 i quickly got into like dual coil drippers um and i was using mechs and you know high wattage 0.08 ohm builds and shit like that um and then never would i have thought that i would enjoy you know we used to like poke fun at like 0.5 ohm single coil bills at like 25 watts and shit yeah i never thought i'm on the same boat with you bro because there was a point during my during my journey of getting off the stinkies that i was i used to drip salt neck back in the day really? <laughs> yeah <laughs> i used to drip salt and kind of stack wow what milligram the highest the 50s that's crazy so that that's the one good thing that when i got into vaping i was also getting sober off heroin so i was like at a point in my life where i was trying to like better everything in my life so 
I was getting off Newports and I started at six milligram. And within a month of being on six milligram, I forced myself to go down to three just because I was like, I want to get to the lowest Nick possible. Um, so that's the one thing that I was lucky with was I forced myself early to get low in Nick. Cause and now nowadays, like even if I try a six at like twenty watts, I'm like choking. Like I'm permanently, I'm permanently stuck on a six for the rest of my life. I know a lot of people that are, and it, it, if I didn't force myself early on to go to a three, I probably would still be on a six today. I'm stuck. I'm I'm fully I'm full blown stuck on a six. I I could do a three. Don't get me wrong. Like see now I got a three in here, and if you notice, I'm constantly like hitting it because i'm i'm you know because to me to me vaping vaping is just a substitute for me yeah yeah, yeah. i'm never gonna quit yeah my goal me. wasn't to quit because if i'm not vaping i would have been smoking cigarettes me too my my goal was to just substitute it like i'm just gonna pick the healthier alternative for me which was vaping and i'm gonna vape because I, I used bro i used to smoke two packs of newport hundreds a day yep Two packs of Newport hundreds, and then if I was drinking, you know, you had three packs plus the grub pack for your homies because everybody used to ask you for a cigarette. So I used to walk around with four packs on a Friday. <laughs> Cause you're in the city. Yeah, I'm in the city, yeah. so everybody's yeah. asking for a cigarette. Yeah. Uh, Michael. Michael said he's stuck on a six. Welcome to the panel, Gabriel. Um, Michael said he's stuck on a six. Levi said, "Man, it's crazy for dripping salts." I used to cloud chase too, but. Uh, 2.5 millimeter, 25 to 30 watts is my home now. Anything over 30 is blasting me too much. Um, yeah, so it seems no. like Levi and I are on the same page. So, yeah, I'm at like the 25 to 30 watt area. Um, I wish I could do a six because I I go through juice like it's nothing. Like at a three milligram, I'll go through 60 mils in like 48 hours. And I know that's not a lot to some people. Some people say they do like 100 mils a day. I don't know how that's possible, but um, you're I looking go, at them. You do 100 mils in a day was, on a six. On a six, that's crazy. So I'll go through 100 uh, 60 mils in like 48 hours. And I knew if I was on a six, I would go through like half of that. Um, but every time I try a six, unless it's an MTL, like a couple months ago, I, I got a bunch of six milligram and that was literally only for MTL vaping. But unless it's MTL, I have to be at a three because the throat hit, I just can't do a throat hit anymore. It has to be smooth. Yo, I threw away. So every month I, this is how I keep track of how much juice I vape every month. I, I put my empties in a drawer and then at the end of the month, I throw it out. So I just did my rotation of juice. I threw out 32 bottles for the month. 100 mils? 100 mils. All FD, obviously all FDH, but yeah, it was all FDH, 32 bottles. So that's 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 a little over three liters a month at six milligrams. I'm doing 60 mLs of three milligram every two days. That's about, that's uh, 120, 180. It's about 210. I'm doing maybe a one liter of three milligram a month, and you're doing a little over three liters at six milligram a month. So that's like six times the amount of Nick as me. That's wild. Yep. Uh, Gabriel, so we're talking about um, how like- a, Sorry, dude, my time zone was different from you all. <laughs> no problem. I saw your message, but I couldn't answer it because I was I'm using my phone to be on the panel. Yeah, you're um, good, man. You're good. Yeah, it's barely seven for me. So, <laughs> so we are. Um, we're talking about like you know the the ohms and wattages we used when we first started vaping, and uh, like the uh, style that we vape today, and the milligram we started at, and in the milligram we use today, and how much juice we use today. So, on your journey, where would you say you started, and where you're at now? Well, shoot, man. Uh, so, like, my first vaporizer was an actually, like, uh, you know, those. it was the very first, it was a little black cigarette-looking thing. It had a blue light at the tip, you know, and then, uh, you know, you bought these little things that you screwed into it, and and that's how, that's where I started from. And then it went into, I don't know if anybody remembers, they used to sell these Camrys. I forgot what it was. It's, it's not like a Toyota, but it was K-A-M-R-Y. <laughs> Yeah, and it, it was just a little cardo on a mechanical mod, you know, and uh, it was full of cotton. At the very bottom was a coil, and you would soak the cotton with your juice, 
So I, was, I, I remember from, those cardos back in the day. Yeah. So I came from like Mount Salon. Uh, you know, really when like, you know, I guess cloud chasing or whatever uh came when you know dripper started being available and then you had the you know the kanger subone tank then you had the uh the atlantis from aspire and i never really got into those i guess because i was just so used to to that mouth to lung way you know and uh i mentioned this to you before you know like two millimeter 2.5 is like the biggest i go man you know and you know i i uh you know, and that to me is fucking plenty enough. And I've dropped my milligram down to a six instead of a 12 when I do my mouth to lung. So, but. so you use a six today and a 12 in MTL today, right? Yeah, that's correct. And, and how many mLs of juice would you say you go through in a, how, how many mLs a day you think? Um, man well i mean my mouth to lung stuff lasts me a pretty while a pretty good long while man i'd say i'd say a bottle lasts me maybe three weeks i wish yeah and then uh uh why is let me see i'm like halfway through the blueberry rice krispie treats Uh, so that's how much I've vaped at, at an old kind of like a restricted direct lung so far since I've got that, uh, the FDH from Kaz. So how long ago was that? Maybe a few weeks? About, about, about three weeks, I would say. Three weeks. Yeah. So, uh, is that the only RDL juice you've used? Uh, so far. Yeah. Uh, my mouth to lung, I've got, I've got two right now that I'm vaping on, but. You know, I just trade it out, but you know, I, I, I guess through the day, I really don't, you know, if I'm doing something, if I'm working, you know, I'm, I guess I'm just focused on that. I really don't, and it's until maybe I like rest for lunchtime or something, and then you know, I, I take you know my drags or whatever, but, and I don't drink, so I don't really vape. <laughs> yep, yeah. yeah. So, uh, I drink probably. I don't know. I'll have like a twisted tea, like twice a month (laughs) you know i'll I'll, i do drink just you know it's not like an every weekend thing you know like if it's a special occasion or something or you know i'll have a a glass of scotch whiskey you know my favorite being lagavulin you know but then i'll have only one glass of that because that shit will you know it already gets me going so yeah uh so jay um you want to explain like what wattage and ohms you started at and like where you're at today and and milligrams and shit oh uh, yeah i started on uh i started th- three milligram right out the gate uh well, my first my first rta was an atlantis <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah that and like uh i think my first mod i bought my buddy took me into getting it i didn't even know anything about anything it was a vapor shock dna 60 with the atlantis on top mm. And that was every day, you know, I was hitting 50, 60 watts, loving it, chasing clouds. And uh, now I'm at, you know, right around the 25, 26-ish wattage. Uh, I never went the MTL route. I just, like, I tried it and it just wasn't for me. And I just stayed away from MTL. Yeah, I, I can't get into it either. And it's always like, I feel like, I don't get the same satisfaction out of it. I get the Nick satisfaction. Um, I don't know. It. I've tried MTL setups from buddies that are into MTL hard that, you know, they vaped good and they gave good flavor. But um, I don't know what it is. It just, I'm not it's saying that something. the flavor is less, but that's almost what it seems like. Yeah, missing, I, missing something. I yeah. got a quick question. <clears throat> Do you all build around battery life or flavor? Flavor. Flavor. Do you kind of like, flavor. well, me, when I when I build, I try to, you know, I try to keep my voltage low, but, which is why I run stainless steel wire. So usually like a, you know, 2.5 with the, with the blue, or the blueberry rice crispy treats. I'm like at 30 watts. And I'm hitting like 3.1, 3.2 volts. And, you know, my battery will last a good while. But 
I was just it's just a quick question. I think I think that that also depends on everybody's like daily application for their daily life. Like yeah. I'm not going to lie, when I used to not work remotely and I used to be out every day, I used to, you know, try to conserve battery. But then once I just switched to like working remote, I got like a million batteries in this house. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're right, man. I agree. I guess it would it would depend on. So to room. me, to me, it's like, to me, it's like, yo, I'll I'll rock like a point two nine dual core alien at like thirty watts, and just I like I just cracked a bottle today, and I'm I'm already three quarters of the way done with the bottle. See, the way that I vape, battery life has never been too big of an issue. Um, so like, if I'm using so these dotty coils i've been using lately they're a little bit lower of an ohm than than i normally am used to this one's coming out at a 0.33 but there's just something about these coils that i love them and i i can't stop using them all oh, the so dotty no, coils are great in the rtas uh, yeah i'm using that's what i'm using in all my intervals now is the dotties and so normally i would have been at like a 0.5 like 24 watts and on an 18650 or a 21700, I usually leave the house at about 7 a.m. and I'll get home around 5 p.m. when I'm working. And because I'm working so much, I can't really chain vape that much. Like, like I'd say once every 30 minutes, I can take a couple hits. So by the time I get home at 5 p.m., I still have a good amount of battery life. But even on these dotty coils, at like 30 watts with a 0.3, um, I'll just use like my twenty one seven hundred balance with a with a five thousand ma cell, and I'm I'm still plenty good without even having to bring an extra battery. And if there's ever any concern that I might run out, I'll just throw a battery in a case and just throw it in the glove box or whatever, so it's there. So now this is a question I have for the panel since we're talking about what we use outside of the dotty. Since we already spoke about the dotty, I we we like the dotty. What other what other coil makers coils are we using who wants to start i mean i'll start i'll start it if i oh, go ahead, go the question go for it so right now well not right now but maybe for like the past couple months i've been using ethan's i like uh he, he makes a nice micro alien that i like so i use ethan's i use jared thompson he makes something called a cherry bomb that i like he makes like a nice 2.9 those things crackle for days i'm big into the crackle sometimes and then i also use red's coils because he makes a good like a staggered fuse clapton or like a you know all, all his staggers are fire and then i like i like the coffin coils too <clears throat> Uh, Jay, you wanna you wanna go, Jay? I mean, other than the Dottie coils, what am I using right now? Uh, uh, Alex from One Nation, some coils from him. I've really been using them. Other than the Dottie, as of right now, I've heard some... I, I've I've heard a lot of good things about the War Nations. Oh, and I, I've also tried. There's this coil guy. My my buddy John Papa put me on to him. Triple C, Triple C makes a really nice. Uh, like burrow coil is his name nathan i i wouldn't know to be honest i'd be blowing smoke up your ass but like yeah dude i know his name because i really don't but um my boy john papa put me on i had went to his shop he got a shop up in uh seymour connecticut and i went to i go to chill with him and every time i go chill with him he always throws me a set of his coils and he i he'll have i'll have him pop them in there and i'll i'll rock them and they're good too i'm just i'm just a creature of habit me too with my with my coils bro like it, it gotta be from no specific makers because i know what i'm getting every single time yeah i agree and i'm just happy with them all right so uh jay which which ones did you say uh <clears throat> two i've been messing with uh he gave me something something he calls a stag three millimeter stag i guess it's like a clapton stagged that's really what's that yeah just some and regular clappings, not crazy from him. That's the War Nation. Yeah, War Nation. What are those Alex. on a website, or you order directly from him? Uh, I ordered through the uh, guy's name is Alex. I think he's in the group. What Alex, the hell, uh, is coming in from another? No, I accidentally, I accidentally like backed out by mistake. Oh. Okay. I went, I went to go look at the chat, and it like I don't know, I, I pressed the wrong button. I, I got this new phone. I've been trying to figure out. So. Got gotcha. you. 
All right, so for Jay, Dottie Coils, and War Nation, you really like the Dottie Coils, Jay? Oh, uh, yeah. You, I mean, I tried a bunch of coils. You're not, you're not getting anything close to the crackle you get off those things, bro. Yeah, they're, they're real nice. Uh, Gabriel, keep my wife how about you? Keep my wife awake at night if I'm in bed. Totally. <laughs> my wife's like, are you serious? <laughs> 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 like, yeah, man, I just try, I just try to get one hit right before I go to sleep. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Yo, I don't know about you guys, but that shit's in my hand in bed, and like I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like chiefing on the bitch at like two a.m. <laughs> oh yeah, me too. Oh bro, you're not the only one. I wake up in the middle of the night. I have like this little nightstand thing behind my head. I just go behind, grab one, and and go right yep. back to sleep. Yep. <laughs> yep. All right. How about you, Gabriel? Uh, man, to be honest, I, I, I don't buy coils, man. I was, I make my own. So I got four little jars here. Uh, I use stainless steel wire cause I, the nichrome kind of makes my mouth itch. So, oh, okay. So yeah, I mean, I, I just build my own. It's just, uh, for like, um, depending on the RTA, you know, uh, for like the typhoons, I use a dual 27 wrapped with 40 gauge. You use just Clapton or Alien? Uh, it's just a fuse, fuse Clapton. Okay. Yeah, making an Alien take too much damn time. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I I hear you. That's why, like, I started looking into building coils back when I first started, and you know, I got the basics down with the Claptons and shit, and then I started like trying to figure out the Alien stuff, and and then I found out like quality coil prices, and I was like, this isn't worth my time. I'm just gonna buy them for ten bucks a pop. Yeah, I yeah, I get you, man. You know, but unfortunately, I I I really don't see a lot of people using stainless steel. I guess nichrome is where everybody. No, likes. you're definitely right. So for me personally, stainless steel tastes a little funky to me. Um, I tried to use it a few different times, and it it just never tasted right. Canthal, I just really could never get the flavor I wanted out of canthal. Um, I can use nichrome eighty or nichrome ninety. Um, I do feel like I get a little bit better flavor off the, the Nichrome 80, um, but most likely I could be fine with 90 as well and not really notice. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, but you know, I, I build these. I, I think I got enough to last for the next four years. <laughs> if they work, that's all that matters. Yeah, you know, but you know, I, I get the same crackle out of these guys that, you know, I've heard, I've got friends that, you know, buy coils too, you know, and, and they, yeah, they might crackle a little louder, but you know, I still, I, to me personally, I, I still get the same good flavor. You if know. you enjoy it, then it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, you're it, saving money too. Yeah. I mean, I bought this little machine way back in the day when they used to make them. Um, as a matter of fact, I got it right here. And uh, this is way back in the day. It was made by uh, Avid Artisan. Oh, I think I remember. When did that come out? Is that the Abbott case? Yeah. Shit. I don't know. It just says lightning vape to the artisan of vaping. Oh, it's the it's 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 the Daedalus. I know exactly what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I've had this for years, man, and I just I've I've just always built my own coils. Yeah. So so yeah, as far as I go with, I don't, I really don't have a lot of experience from coil makers. I remember back in the day, Twisted Messes used to make coils, but that's all about all I know about coils. So <laughs> you know about other people, I, I would assume he still makes coils. I don't know if he 100% still does or not, but I know he has the Twisted Messes Nichrome wire. And ever since I tried the Twisted Messes Nichrome 80, I literally will not buy coils off of any maker unless he's using twisted messes nichrome wire there's just something very nice about it um i got you cool Shit. however i will say uh coffin coils he's using um shit. i forget the brand of wire he's using off the top of my head but that shit, the what whatever wires he's using it's not like anything crazy but that stuff is good as well um his coils so coffin coils are uh outstanding he's a really good coil maker for sure um james mucklin i really 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 like um i used callister coils for a few years nick callister um now since we're getting the dotty coils at vaping art 
um, it's a little bit easier for me to get the Dottie coils. So, you know, that's why I, I, I think I do prefer the Dottie coils. Um, but here's what I will say before I tried my first Dottie coil, it was only like a month ago. Uh, Ross was, you know, making the post about the, the coils and, you know, he was saying like, these are the best, these are the best. And, you know, I assumed they were good, but because of the ohm and and the price point i just was like you know i james mucklin makes great coils there's really no need for me to switch so i just stayed in my lane and i kept using the mucklin coils um but then when when we were able to get them at vaping art um i was like you know what let me let me try a set you know they're right there i might as well so something about the dotties i just really 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 like them um so as long as we're able to get them at vaping art then i will definitely continue using the dotties uh however i will say like if you're somebody that has to be at like a 0. 0.4 to 0. 0.6 ohm area with this spec coil um you know you're going to be in the 0. 0.3 to 0. 0.35 area with his coil um and you know the price is a, a, a little bit higher than something like a coffin coil or a mucklin coil or a callister coil. Um, to me, it's worth it. As somebody who normally likes to be at the 0.45 to 0.5 area, I that was the biggest turnoff to me with the, the Dotty coils. But after trying them, I'm completely fine with being in that ohm range now because I just really like how the coil performs and it outweighs where the ohm is at for me. Um, yeah, Quinn, Quinn said in the chat, wire optimum is what he uses. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it is wire optimum is what coffin coil uses. Um, I that's have no the thing, That's the stainless steel I use wire optimum. Yeah. It's nothing crazy. It's not like anything special, but, um, all the coffin coils I've tried, I have no qualms with those. Like that wire performs wonderful. Um, if I were to put those next to some TM 80, I probably wouldn't be able to taste the difference or notice the difference at all. Uh, Toasty Cheesy says TM wire is the truth. Um, Levi said he had, I think Levi was saying he used one of those uh, coil making kits things that you have. And he said it worked pretty well. Yeah, that's a, um, I've used it for years. <laughs> so we got about 10, 15 minutes left before we get out of here. If anybody in the chat has any questions or they want to, uh, bring up any topics put them in the chat and we'll talk about it um that was a good topic guys um is there anything else that you guys want to touch on before we get out of here um i did forget to mention i do buy wire but it's not you know for cotton per se i buy tasty ropes rope and flat rope for my mesh builds mm. that's about that's about all i go as far as a somebody making you know wire you use a lot of mesh atomizers don't you yeah, yeah. I just, as a matter of fact, what I'm vaping on the the Devor with the mesh build in it, that 22 NX. But I, like I said, when when my tobacco is mouth to lung, I prefer mesh all day, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, what is it like? A, a cleaner flavor, or? Uh, I mean, to me, I get the more like I can get more like a let's say a Virginia tobacco, right? Or even like a Burley. You know, you get those nutty notes and stuff and then you know that sweetness that comes from the virginias and and laticas you know they're very peppery and robust and i get that really good with mesh as well mm. not saying that cotton you know is isn't good at all but i don't know i guess it's just a personal preference uh, i hear you but have, yeah, uh, i'm sorry go ahead i was just gonna say kaz or jay have you guys had any experience using mesh for wicking I've never used much before. I've no, used, like, you know, I've never, never used much before. Whenever I've seen it, whenever I've seen it, I always like, wow, that's cool. But I've never got into it or had anybody yeah, around I me did, use it. What I did use one time. Well, I, I tried it for about two weeks. I don't know if you guys ever saw it, but there was a company that released a tank. It was a sub ohm tank, but instead of a regular coil, they had a ceramic plate. Yes, and it looked like, like a oven dish, dish. plate, an oven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you put the that. cotton over the plate. Yeah. And then you would vape it. I tried that. I mean, I, I was I wasn't fond of it. It worked, but it wasn't Atlas. like Atlas was the name, right? Yeah, the Atlas tank. The yeah. Atlas. Yeah, I think I it was that. that. Yeah, there I was two of them. Too. I think. I think there was two different ones that did that similar thing. 
Um, so personally, I've had two, maybe three mesh atomizers over the last few years. I've spent a few hours trying to get those right. And um, I just, yeah, it's not for me. I wish I could enjoy it because I do think it's really cool. And it's like a cool idea and a great concept and stuff. But yeah, it's just, it's just not for me. Um, not only that, I mean, the time, I mean, like my SAT 22 build, I mean, it's, it's been over fuck, seven months, you know, they just heat it up and dip it in a little water. And then, you know, you don't have to switch nothing out, man. Just <laughs> yeah. That's why I wanted to, to like it. Um, yeah. I just, I just couldn't get into it. It's, yeah. it's not for everybody. When, yeah. Once you get it, you know, it's like everything you get it. I'm sure. Yeah, but when something. you're not there yet, it's frustrating. <laughs> I have I have a question for everybody, Ryan. Uh, we gonna, I want to I want to start with Ryan because I really want to know, Ryan, what do you see you vaping right now? You don't. You're gonna hate me. I don't. No, I won't hate you. Just listen, All right. bro. All right, I'm using the Innova with uh, the, some strawberry ice cream. Oh yeah, let's stop. Listen, bro. Before before you say anything. <laughs> I love everybody's juice. Even even though I make juice, I try everybody's juice. Everybody's juice I try, and I, I like everybody's juice, especially JMA. Don't forget, bro, I sell JMA. So hey. I sell JMA on the site. So it's yeah. like you said, um, the the creature of habit thing. Um, there was, I went through a period where I couldn't use commercial juice anymore. I had a palate to where. I had to have sweet, heavy, like just overly sweet commercial juice. I loved Jam Monster, Sad Boy. Jam Monster. Like I lived for that shit. I couldn't do anything that was less sweet than that. But one day it was like a switch flipped and I could not do it anymore. They all just taste like burnt sugar to me. Um, and I went through a period for like six months where like I almost got out of vaping because I was getting so frustrated. I couldn't find anything that like, you know, I, I could enjoy that didn't taste like burnt sugar to me or, or that was a flavor I liked. And there was one company that came around. I won't even say the name. It was a DIY guy and he was around for a few months. I pushed him a little bit in the Copa. I loved his juices. I know who you uh, talk about. Huh? I know who you talk about. Yeah, you do. And then. And then he went and robbed a bunch of people and um, like he had, I let him borrow a bunch of my gear. He had like $1,100 of my gear and, and one of my buddies lived 20 minutes from him, had to show up at his doorstep and get my shit. Like it was a nightmare. So after that, that was like my first experience trying JMA. And then I just, I fell in love with a few of the flavors. And since then I just like, I'm a creature of habit. I love that shit. And I'm not saying there's not other flavors that I enjoy from other companies because there definitely is. There was a few from FDH that were definitely hits that are definitely bangers. There's a few from Sons of Sloth that I really like. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is. I just keep coming back to the, these specific yeah. flavors. Oh, Kaz, that Boston Cream Donut, dude. The Boston Cream Donut is good. That's it, dude. So, yeah, man, so the, that's, thing that's good. Is, the thing is with the juice, the juice that I make, you know, it's like I don't make juice for me. I make ju we make juice for like people that we because it's me and Dimitri. We make juice that we think like other people are going to like because honestly, bro, I could vape. I could vape Dunsky and Playland every day for the rest of my life. The, that's, I haven't are you gotten guys, to Dunsky yet, man. It's still Dunsky's cool. good. Are you guys still producing the the strawberry cannoli? Yeah, so so we do, but the the thing is, what ends up happening is is that when we open up the voting, I only do three to four flavors. I can't do all yeah. the flavors because I'm so I'm I'm still so I'm still so small because it's just it's just me now. Yep, that makes it's just sense. me now doing 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 all the shipping on the back end. So I it's if imagine if I had to do like ten flavors and then to ship it. I'll be shipped because I remember one time I did a I did a batch, and in one batch it was a hundred and seventy orders. Yeah, yep. I was up for thirty eight hours straight packing orders. No, I get that. Yeah, I get so, that. So, you know, it, it it gets it gets it it gets it gets out of hand. I mean, I could tell you right now, 
I could almost guarantee I'm we about to open up the voting for the next batch soon after I'm done with this current batch that should be done soon. Like the juices almost here. I did a collaboration with Twisted Timmy. So we did a strawberry, strawberry banana ice cream sandwich. So, so you haven't released any of that yet, right? Or have you? The the, the Twisted Timmy one's coming like soon. Okay. Soon, soon. It's like it's already like the docs closed. I'm just waiting. Yeah. So but anybody it, watching, uh, it's F period D period H period F D H and what what is it F D is it just F D H for FDH. the group? Mm -hmm. So that's all they have to type, right? Yeah, F D H. So so just so F period D period H period, and that's the Facebook group. If if you're interested in trying it, also there's live streams on my channel that you can find uh, of me sampling the flavors. If you want to hear a few of the flavors, um, one of the questions, uh, Dane Dane Johnson, what's going on, buddy? Um, one of the questions I wanted to get to before we head out was from Levi. He said, "Anything new coming out? I'm always late to the party." So. Has there been anything new that any of you guys have seen the last couple weeks that that you are that you thought was cool or anything? Man, yeah, I, was, I just I, wait for you to post stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like honestly, honestly, bro, honestly, bro, I kind of just wait because you got to remember, bro, in this in this borough scene is just you know modders dropping different borough mods. You know, what I'm saying your occasional like R, you know, RBA. It's like you know, I think the newest stuff has to be the one from Sway. Yep. The newest one from Mission. Yep. Mm. And then and then the stuff that Ross is dropping, you know, he's just dropping different styles of the midges that look sick. Dude, that last one he did was Those crazy. The one midges, that they look insane. I forget I forget what he called the last one. The one that he, he only did the, 20. He called it the WTF. Yeah, that's what it was. And it was like the honeycomb block or was it? Yeah. Honey, it yeah, was, on it. yeah, you're and it had like the colorful shit in it. They were all one of one, dude. Yep. I think mm -hmm. I think he told me he spent like five hours on lasering per RBA. I I believe it, and he did twenty of them. So that's like two straight weeks worth of work. Um, and he was selling them. I think at three fifty or three fifty five. Like if you take into account the machine shop to make the RBA and then add five hours of laser on each one. That price point is like, that's a good price point for that much work into one RBA. Yep. Mm hmm. I mean, I personally, I personally, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm personally, I've been a fan since the OG, like unknown. Like I still have an OG intro that's in my rotation every day. Every day, and then the midges, the midges. I've I've been through like seven midges in the last month. Yep. I I th so one. whenever, <laughs> whenever I reach for a boro, um, I, try one. I gotta break my dope out soon because the dope is definitely one of my favorites. But like the staple for me is definitely the midge. The control bridge is good. Um, I don't know. The, the control bridge definitely has like as good flavor as the best of them. Um, I do feel like the midge has like smoother airflow. Um, and even though the, the, the control bridge has the, you know, um, pros of having more juice capacity. Um, I still think I will reach for the bridge uh, for the midge over the new control one, even even though I'll have less juice capacity. And it's not by much because the midge is still holding a good amount. It's still a tiny little RBA. But there's just something about the midge that uh, if I'm going for a boro, that's what I'm reaching for. Yeah, oh, by the, way, by the way, by the way, by the way, Ryan, because I know you're always wondering, but uh FDH got something coming like within the next week and a half to two weeks, something new. A flavor? No. Like not a juice? Yeah, it's not a juice. Is it? Uh, uh, is it merch? No, nah, we we just we just did the merch drop. The merch drop we just did. We just did. We just did uh, FDH hoodies, and it said it said we outside on the back. So no, it's not merch, and it's not juice. It's not merch, and it's not juice. 
All right, but then you guys heard it first. That's definitely it's not, it's not that. merchant is not juice, but FDH got something. You know, because I'm 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 always trying to stay. I'm always trying to stay. You know, constantly give the group. You know, different. You gotta things. keep it exciting. Yeah, you got it. You you got to, bro. You got to just keep it exciting. But I definitely got something. I'm always, bro. I'm always, I'm always fiddling. I'm always, I'm always figuring something out. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Michael said, "I still rock my Mob Bros cap on my Nero Midgeden." So that reminded me of something that is like a prized possession that I have that I got some years back. Um, I like that prized possession. <laughs> yeah. The ridge, the the ridge is top tier, uh, Levi. I have a ridge. I like the ridge. The ridge RBA. The ridge is top tier, in my opinion. So these, I think, a a couple of these panels were done. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was like three years ago now. Um, this was this panel was made for one of the mod bro mods, and I didn't even have the mod. But um, uh, so this panel it was like Nick lasered into the panel um nick passed away a few years back and um you know there's a lot of history there the reason why dane like i don't know if dane's still using the same laser but originally when dane got into lasering he drove after nick passed away um you know he helped nick's wife out a lot with all that stuff financially and and just helped a lot and he went he picked up the laser and kind of continued the legacy that nick started with the laser work he was doing and like one of the things that that dane made was one of these panels of like nick in cartoon form and um i remember seeing i think he did like five or maybe ten of them and i didn't even have the mod but i was like man i have to get that and um yeah, it's just some little panel for a mod I don't even own, but um, it was definitely something that like uh, is super special to me that cool, I'll man. always Pay tribute, keep. you know. Yeah, yo, exactly. Yo, Dane, yo, Dane, I know you're here and I know you're listening. I want something custom on a match. You didn't hear it from me. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear it from me. Uh, Dakota says he has seven midges. <laughs> Damn. Yo, bro. At one point, at one point, I had the bones. I had the liquid metal. I had a progenta, uh, bones, liquid metal, progenta. Uh, I had the bones, liquid metal, progenta. I had like two other ones. I had the regular one. I had like I had like five, five or six of them at one time. It's definitely one of those addies that like you can't get enough of, especially because they, you know the the options you know it's just like the black one is the main one i use but just a little variance in the look makes it look so much different in a borrow let yeah. me know if you want to sell one ryan i'll buy it from you i mean one of my one <laughs> of my can't. favorites one of my favorites right now has to be this ti purple with the green that i'm rocking right now yeah the ti purple is gorgeous but gabriel if you really need a midge i think i know somebody that's selling a stainless steel one yeah, I mean, it, just, it doesn't have to be nothing. I just, you guys talk about this midge so much. And I'm like, you know, could it really be that great? You know, what, what, what's your favorite bridge? Oh, uh, let me see, man. I still rock my old Excel set. I to me, that's this, old school. I like that. I still this, rock that, man. I still, I actually have it in my, uh, in my, uh, my V box right now. Um, uh, uh shoot man i i guess i really mm, what would be my favorite man i well i use the mob ti a lot too uh the og I guess mob? I, I really don't jump on stuff uh you know i guess i guess i'm kind of one of those that you know wait patiently and then you know i don't know <laughs> yeah i got you i got you you don't follow like the next chase the Yo, next brian, item and stuff. brian have you used the ridge from prc yet I have not, but I've heard like a, a lot of people say some crazy stuff about it. Yo, it's like, I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to send you mine. You want me to try it? Yo, bro, it's it's M2 vibes. Yeah, yeah, it's like M2 vibes. See the uh, <laughs> the original Mob Mini was definitely probably my favorite Mob out of the whole line. Um, I just love the like nostalgia of it and the basic of it. And it just vapes so well, 
the mob two was probably the only mob i didn't have and i probably would have loved the mob two because it was so oh, similar to the OG. That, that two is 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 top tier for for monarchy in my opinion yeah that was the second that was just the second one he did right yeah i'm too yeah. the the last one he did uh, the one I reviewed last, like a month or two ago, that one is a banger for sure for flavor. It hits the flavor is amazing. I think it's to me the one I le I liked the least was the V, the Mob V. Yeah, I mean, the, I I didn't like that one in particularly. I had a lot of issues with it personally. I just wasn't a fan. Mm. I and I and I ha I had like a blacked out version that was that was. Uh, a buddy of mine gave me and i just didn't i wasn't a fan i got you yeah the ms the ms has banging flavor but all right um we're at the hour mark i really got to get out of here and uh get some dinner going but um we're probably i don't know what the schedule is going to look like yet for the show if we maybe we'll keep it on wednesdays maybe we'll move it to a weekend night i guess we'll see how it plays out um well but, now i know you're an hour behind so yeah, I'm Eastern time. So okay, yeah, I need to. I'll remember that because I was like, man, seven o'clock. I was like, wait a minute. Like, oh, what time shit. is it where you're at right now? Right, and for me right now it's seven fifty-two. Oh, okay, yeah, it's going on nine here. Yeah, so. Cool, All right, man. so, um, if any of you guys want to come up, I'll um, I'll make sure I shoot you guys a message just to give you a heads up if, in case you don't see the post. If, if any of you want to come up on the next one definitely yeah, yeah. welcome um i i appreciate you guys coming on uh i really appreciate everyone in the chat um anybody have any last things they want to say before we dip out uh yeah just shoot me a message man uh let me know whoever has that mage and i'll try this thing out see what's up <laughs> okay all right yeah, it was, it was a pleasure this. it was a pleasure yes. i look forward to all the future ones i actually enjoyed i actually enjoyed this very much because like I actually get a kick out of just talking about just random babe shit. It's like awesome. Same. Yeah, I agree. Hopefully in the, there's not a lot of new shit coming out right now, I feel like. So maybe down the road on the next few shows, we'll have some newer shit to, to talk about. But I feel like right now there's been a little bit of a stalemate the last few weeks. So I will say this, man, uh, Ryan, you know, the channel, dude, you've, you know, you come out with your views and there's some things that I do want to jump on. And you've reviewed, you know, reviewed them, and I'm like, oh shit! And it was like, man, I'm glad you got it first, because I would have probably wasted my money. So that I do have to thank, man. So not a problem at all. That, keep it that up hearing that. shit like that is what keeps me doing this and keeps me motivated, man. Yeah, it, it helps out a lot, man. So, but awesome, uh, yeah, man. But awesome. hey, man, everybody have a blessed night, man. Uh, have a good night, guys. Okay. Yeah. Peace. Thank you guys very much. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. Jay, Kaz, Gabriel, you guys have a great night. Later, bud. Later. Later. You too, bud.